of medical colleges, faculty of the medical colleges, RUMC members and friends. You are well aware that the art of prescription writing is most important component of the work of newly qualified doctors, in fact, of all clinicians which form the backbone of healthcare program of our country. It involves recapitulation of knowledge of medicine, judgment and skills. It's a healthcare program implemented by a physician in the form of instructions that govern the plan of care of an individual patient. Prescribing involves carefully taking history of the patient, making a judgment about the diagnosis of a disease, choosing a proper therapeutic approach, writing the medicines legibly with root, frequency, and duration of use of each drug, and then explaining it to the patient in local language for proper compliance. Clinical environment these days is becoming more challenging as the patients expect quick response. So prescribing is more demanding in maintaining a balance between generic drugs, which are less expensive and costly brand names or new drugs. ICMR considered it as an important aspect and after feedback from medical fraternity, took steps to design and develop a course on prescribing skills in compliance with the MCI com competencies. The course has been developed with inputs from leading faculty of different medical colleges of New Delhi, Mumbai, and clinical pharmacologists of 15 rational use of medicine centers of ICMR in medical colleges spread all over the country with inputs from specialists and super specialists in different areas of medicine of these colleges. Personal interest and participation of DGICMR in all the meetings of the technical advisory group convened at the headquarters provided guidance and speed to develop the modules. Dr. Dilma Shirzagar's tenacity, persuasion, and personal interaction with IUMC clinical pharmacologists was instrumental in developing the modules for different competencies of MCI to produce Indian medical graduates with the requisite knowledge and skills to function as physicians of first contact in the community. ICMR has now decided to extend this course to doctors in government institutions and registered medical practitioners of allopathy in addition to interns. Jai Hind. I will now request Dr. Neil Mashir Sagar to kindly give the genesis of the development of the program. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Kamboj. And uh, thank you all for participating in the launch. Uh, I would at the outset uh, welcome uh, Dr. Of course, Balram Bharga, who could not be here, the Honorable uh, Director General of ICMR and uh, Secretary of DHR, all the members of the Technical Advisory Group, Vice Chancellors, Secretaries of Health and Medical Education, Deans, IMA officials, and scientists of ICMR, and many national and international experts who are also here. So I welcome you all for the launch of this ICMR online prescribing skills course. I welcome you on behalf of all those who have been involved in developing this course. We wish to thank especially Dr. Balram Bhargav for his constant support and the opportunity he has given to us to develop this course. This course is a culmination of untiring efforts of over 90 experts all over the country, as Dr. Kambo just mentioned, through over 100 online meetings and audiovisual recordings, and also feedback from interns. The course development formally started in June 2019 with establishment of the ICMR's National Virtual Center for Clinical Pharmacology and establishments of 15 rational use of medicine centers all over the country. Although some groundwork was already done through conferences and workshops from 2017 onwards. Now this course was launched by Honorable Dr. Balram Bhargav on the 17th of September, 2020 for interns. 
the focus as mentioned by dr kamboj is for a primary level physician this online course to be viewed at the viewers own pace over 3 months it consists of 40 modules and video lectures each of approximately 20 minutes duration it has got case scenarios and do's and don'ts varying topics from general principles communication skills so important to prescribing for diseases of infectious diseases eye diseases ear skin heart lung psychiatric condition in women children and elderly in emergency situation chronic diseases like diabetes bp and palliative care there is a pre test before the start of the course and then assignments which consist of five multiple choice questions to be answered per module and then evaluating a prescription and on completion of the assignments a certificate is issued who enrolled for the 2020 course it was then open for interns 6666 participants enrolled for it of them 4327 were actually interns alarmingly 25% of them got less than 50% in the pre test mcqs right emphasizing the need for such a course what is the feedback that we got from the interns after they completed the course 95% of them said that the course should be made compulsory 85% of them rated it as excellent very good for usefulness quality coverage and usefulness of the assignments too they rated it as 4.5 out of a maximum of 5 although the course was for interns many first year resident doctors actually wanted to register and 700 private practitioner actually registered also today for today's launch uh, dr balram bhargav will be launching this course 2021 now it is open for interns of 2021 and also registered medical practitioners including of medical officers from government service the course now has additional features that is modules for common conditions like other common conditions like tuberculosis polycystic ovarian disease hemoglobinopathy thalassemia blood transfusion related reaction thrombocytopenia kala azar these have been developed by icmr institutes with expertise in these areas the course registration and pre test will open after the launch from today and it will be up up to 7th july so one month time is available for registering the course and giving the pre test thereafter the module will be available for viewing and completing the assignment for a good 3 months 8th july till 7th october this will be then followed by a certificate for all those who complete the assignments and we expect to get feedback from the participants of course we have to mention here that this course is not covering regarding covid because there is a very dynamic situation and although continuously seminars are being held for the covid related issues so what's next the course will be available soon in the print form and also a soft copy which include which will include the multiple choice question the script of the lectures and importantly replies to the multiple choice question and explanation as to what is right and what is wrong the course will undergo a revision during the 2021 that is from couple of weeks later and it will be updated based on the feedback from the prescription evaluation which is already being done by the rational use of medicine centers and also the feedback that we got from interns what is the feedback they gave they said that 
include also number of other diseases. We have included the common diseases as example, but they wanted more. And also more case-based scenarios. And they also said include obstetric and also orthopedic. We'll do all that in the revision that we do. The revised version will be available in 2022. And we hope that with this attending this online program, which is really the order of the day, and particularly during COVID lockdowns and so on, it will be extremely useful, we believe, for the private practitioners who are graduate and who need to update their knowledge and also needless to say medical officers. Uh, thank you all very much for participating in this launch. And I'm sure that you will encourage all the respective people to register for the course and uh, make it extremely useful. And thank you all once again. Thank you, Madam, for your uh, valuable uh, overview on the course outline. Now on behalf of uh, DGICMR and Secretary DHR and the RUMC of the National Virtual Center for Clinical Pharmacology, we now launch the course and it is now open for registration. The candidates may uh, enroll now. Thank you. Now I invite uh, Dr. Manoj Murekar for his words. Sir, please. Uh, thank you very much uh, uh, and very good morning to everybody. It is indeed a great privilege to propose a uh, vote of thanks for the launch of a second cycle of uh, prescribing skills course for the Indian medical graduates. As uh, uh, Dr. Nilima uh, Sagar mentioned, last September, uh, ICMR, uh, ICMR's uh, National Cent Virtual Center for Clinical Pharmacology developed this course and uh, NIA has been coordinating the implementation of this course uh, since last year. And this, in the first cycle, uh, this course was primarily targeted for, uh, for MBBS students who are undergoing their internship. And in the first cycle, more than 6,000 uh, students participated in this course. Based on the feedback that we received from the interns as well as participants, as well as based on the experience uh, and the lessons learned during the launch, uh, during the first cycle, we are now launching uh, today the second cycle of this course. And we are very happy uh, that this course is now made open uh, for all the registered medical practitioners in the country. So basically I want to thank all the individuals, the institutions and organizations which helped us in developing this course and the conduct of this course. So at the outset, uh, I want to thank Professor Balram Bhargav, Secretary uh, Department of Health Research and DG ICMR for his uh, vision to establish uh, the National Virtual uh, Center for Clinical Pharmacology and his leadership for, uh, towards strengthening medical education and health research in the country. We also thank uh, him for his valuable guidance for making this course open for registered medical practitioners in India. Uh, I want to thank uh, Dr. Uh, Kamboj, Chairman of uh, TAG of uh, National uh, Virtual Center for Clinical Pharmacology and all the members of uh, this virtual center uh, for their guidance in designing and developing this course. I also want to thank all the faculty members from uh, RUM uh, for, uh, of the Rational Use of Medicine Centers for their hard work in putting this course. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, this is Dr. Jaren here. We, your audio is mute. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Audible, now. Audible. yeah. Thank you. So special thanks to uh, Professor Nilma uh, Chirsagar for steering, energizing, and leading this group. And she was instrumental in, uh, in ensuring that the first batch of the course, or first cycle of the course, uh, got launched in a, in a timely manner. I also want to put on the record my sincere thanks to our online partners, the Swayam uh, Program of Ministry of uh, Education and its national coordinators, the AICT and NPTEL for hosting this course and supporting all the, all the online endeavors of the National Institute of Epidemiology. I would uh, personally like to thank Professor Anil uh, Sastrabudde, Chairman of uh, AICT, Professor Andrew, uh, Professor Pratap, Professor Niket, 
professor vignesh and mrs bharti of uh, nbtel for making this course happen even during uh, the extraordinary pandemic time we thank the fraternity of uh, medical education the vice chancellors the deans the principals and students of from uh, different medical colleges and practitioners from across the country for their support to this course i also want to take this opportunity to thank the, the heads of divisions of icmr and all the icmr directors for their support and presence uh, during this launch function lastly i wish to uh, convey my sincere thanks and appreciation to program coordinators uh, dr chatterjee and dr jerin from icmr headquarters for uh, coordination as well as uh, all round support uh, to this course and at the uh, last but not the least i i thank my colleagues uh, dr manikam dr tarun dr ganesh kumar dr navneet harshal shirin for the team work uh, in making this course happen thank you very much and jai hind well thank you all for joining us so the candidates may enroll now thank you all and have a nice day thank you everyone thank you thank you, thank you everyone thank you